Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. What's up? Vice City Vault Crew. Today we're talking about a bombshell that's going to leave Grand Theft Auto fans feeling like they just got robbed in Liberty City. Literally. So? If you haven't checked your Netflix game library recently, I've got some bad news for you. Two classic GE titles are leaving the platform on December 13th. Now, before we dive into the details, let's set the scene. Grand Theft Auto 3, the definitive edition and Vice City Vice City. The definitive edition were both part of Netflix's mobile gaming lineup back in 2022. They were remastered versions of games that originally dropped on the PlayStation 2 way back in the early 2000s. And fans were hyped to play them on the go. But here's the thing. These two DTA titles are still available for download on Google Play and the App Store. They're not actually leaving those platforms. Die. However, if you want to play them directly on Netflix, you'll need to shell out around $20 each because, spoiler alert, Netflix is pulling them off the platform. According to Netflix, this decision comes down to expiring licenses. Yeah, it's just like that with TV shows and movies, too. The company wants to keep its focus on what they do best, streaming high-quality film and TV content. And while we appreciate the nostalgia value of these remastered DTA titles, we can't help but feel a little disappointed. It's worth noting that Netflix didn't always have mobile gaming in mind when it launched its service. Back in 2021, the company dipped its toes into the gaming space with some indie titles. And, well, let's just say those experiments didn't exactly pan out as planned. There were even rumors of a scrap AA game project called Blue that had big-name talent attached to it. But amidst all this uncertainty, we're seeing signs that Netflix is looking to pivot towards AI-generated games in the future. Mike Verdu, the new VP of Genai for Games, believes that generative AI could bring the gaming industry back to its old-school days of limitless potential and rapid innovation. That's some exciting stuff, guys. So there you have it. Two classic DA titles leaving Netflix, but don't worry. Your Vice City Vault crew is always here to keep you in the loop about all things Grand Theft Auto.